This lesson will show how to use Desmos.com to sketch a polygon on the coordinate plane. To do this, we use the polygon function in Desmos, followed by a list that contains the ordered pairs of the vertices. In example number one, we have three vertices, and therefore the polygon will be a triangle. In number two, we have five vertices, and therefore, and therefore the polygon will be a pentagon. The order of the ordered pairs matters. The vertices are connected in the order given. To begin, we go to desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator. In cell one, we will enter the ordered pairs of the vertices as a list. Let's use the variable v for our list equals, and now for a list we use square brackets, which on a normal keyboard is toward the upper right hand corner, or using the Desmos keypad, click ABC, and we can see the square brackets here toward the bottom. And now we enter the ordered pairs separated by commas. So we have negative four, comma, negative two, zero, comma, six, and four, comma, negative two. If we close the Desmos keypad, notice how we can see the ordered pairs plotted as points on the coordinate plane. If we want to, we can add labels, which will give the ordered pairs next to the points. We can also change the color if we want by clicking and holding on the red circle on the left and selecting a different color. Let's go ahead and select black. To exit this, click outside the menu, click in cell two, and now we will sketch a polygon using the polygon feature. We can type in polygon from the keyboard or click on the Desmos keypad, click functions, click miscellaneous, and click polygon. And then we simply enter the variable V for the list that contains the ordered pairs of the vertices. Now if we close the Desmos keypad, we can see the polygon sketched on the coordinate plane. Notice how the close parenthesis after the V is not required. If we click outside cell two, it's automatically added. And if we want to, we can adjust the window here on the right by zooming in or zooming out using the plus or minus, or adjusting the window manually by clicking on the wrench and adjusting the intervals for the X and Y axes. From this menu, we can also turn off the grid and turn off the axes if we did not want to see the coordinate plane. And we could also turn off the labels by unclicking the label box. Let's go ahead and turn those back on though. And sketch our second polygon. So we'll go back to list V and we'll clear out these ordered pairs and entered the vertices for the pentagon, which are negative six comma negative three, negative four comma three, one comma five, six comma one, and two comma negative three. And notice how we have our pentagon on the right. And as I mentioned earlier, the order of the vertices does matter. Notice how if I was to switch the order of these last two vertices, for example, I'll change this order pair to two comma negative three, and the last order pair to six comma one, it is going to connect the vertices in the order given. So let's go ahead and change that back so that we have the original pentagon. I just wanted to emphasize how the order of these vertices does matter. If you want to change the color of the polygon, simply click on the blue circle on the left of the polygon function and select a different color. I hope you found this helpful.